What is up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Hi, it's Keisha, nice to meet you all. I woke up in a very interesting mood and by interesting I woke up in a very like mad, angry, sad kind of mood and I think that my outfit is a pure representation of how my heart feels right now, very dark. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness though, um, I woke up wanting to basically get this video out for you guys. We're going to be talking about celebrities who just annoy me for no reason, like just simply piss me off like sometimes seeing their face just annoys the hell out of me and you know what i had to like think to myself does it make me a rude person making this video yeah it does but like i'm not a mean person but like sometimes i just be having certain thoughts and sometimes i'll be watching certain movies and then i just see an annoying person with like an annoying face and i just want to flip it and shut my laptop down that makes me sound really rude but you know what even the nicest people out there have the darkest thoughts we all have misconceptions about people we all assume correctly or incorrectly about people and um that's i guess what i'm gonna be doing today these are just all assumptions it's all shits and giggles don't take me too seriously because if you do then babes that's a you problem not me i'm just not in the mood <laughs> and i probably should not be filming right now but for some reason there was a time where i wasn't in the mood and i filmed a video and i liked like it made for a great video for whatever reason i don't know whether it's like the dry humor i don't know whether it's the sarcasm i don't know whether it's like the fact that i i, I don't know till this day i can't work out what it is but um yeah <laughs> They could be the sweetest people. They could donate to charity every single month. They could be feeding the kids. I hate when people say feeding the kids in Africa. Like, it's only Africans that are struggling. Like, pick up a flipping book, research, and stop being a prick. But nah, um, you know, these people can give to charities. They could be, you know, doing all of these cool, great things to help society. And, and I just don't see it in it. <laughs> okay, so first on this list is Kourtney Kardashian. You lots find her very entertaining. For me personally, I don't. I could happily skip past her parts, like, you know? I remember when I was like 13, 14, 15, 16, right? Instead of me having my face down in my textbooks researching and actually getting my schoolwork done, I was watching Kim Kardashian's Kardashians on E. I had no life in it. And I remember just always being bored by Kourtney Kardashian. And what really aggravates the flip out of me is how slowly she likes to speak because I speak really fast. But even if I didn't speak fast, babes, why are you speaking slow? Like, is it just me or Courtney's voice is really jarring? Like, it's not even the accent, the valley accent, because the sisters have it too, but they speak a bit more faster because they actually have common sense. Why are you literally speaking so slow? I don't have time for that. I don't, even if I have time for that, I don't have time for you. Courtney, do better. Like, why are you speaking so slow? So Mason and I are literally, like, jarring. <sighs> I just don't think we'll get along. I don't think I can get along with somebody who speaks really slowly. I don't think you can keep up with me. I definitely can't keep up with you. By the time you're speaking, I want to start a new conversation. Like, I want to start a new sentence. Like, you, what, what's the reason for speaking slowly? Now, I think there's people with, like, speech problems. I'm not talking about them. I'm not talking about people who are disabled or who have, like, things going on in that, in that department, right? Like, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about Courtney Kardashian just speaking hella slow. What was the reason? I think people feel like she's the most down to earth. I don't really get that impression from her. I feel like she likes to dissociate from the Kardashians. But babes, if it wasn't for you having a Kardashian last name, then people wouldn't really be checking for you in that way, if anything. Because she's just really boring. And also this hair is jarring. Anyways, like, I don't find her relatable at all. I, like, it's not, I, I don't look at Courtney and think, oh my God, like, you know, I love the love that she has with Travis. I think that's beautiful to watch. And I think that she probably is a sweetheart, but she's just annoying. And the way that she eats Kit Kat pisses me off. You have to be trolling. Like, you just do. Vitamins. This is not a paid actor or anything, but, like, when I think of vitamins... No, when I think of Courtney, I think of vitamins because she's all about, like, the health and gut. And I haven't taken my vitamin yet. Hold on. And also, here's a story. One second. Let me swallow. <laughs> about <laughs> my dog is literally just looking at me you right baby can't see him right now because if he, if he was in the frame you guys would probably love him and pay attention more to him than me do you know what i mean i'm kind of selfish anyways um i remember i was watching this podcast i don't know how i came across it because if i'm being honest with you i probably should care about health and taking care of myself but i, I just don't for whatever reason I, I think there will come a time in life in my 20s somewhere where I'm just gonna sober up and actually start eating healthy and really taking care of my skin and everything. But for now, like I just, I'm so YOLO. I'm so YOLO that I just don't care about much, which is really bad. Don't be like me, please. I stumbled across this podcast, which is all about like health and fitness. And basically there was this British woman and she kept saying vitamins. And I'm like, oh, like that gave me the ick because bitch, you know, that's not how you pronounce it, right? Like vitamins, 
vitamins like Americans say vitamins I'm gonna go ahead and take my vitamins like that was weird I don't know why I shared that story with you but someone needed to hear it innit <laughs> but yeah Courtney's really boring um do you remember when Kim said that she was like what did, what did Kim say that she's the least interesting to look at that is savage that's savage coming from your own sister did she say that was that made that up ah same thing um <laughs> no seriously though like imagine your own sister saying like you're the you're so boring to look at she's boring though not to look at she's very beautiful that's not a problem she's just gonna keep saying poosh <laughs> she's gonna keep saying poosh <laughs> And also the whole PDA thing, yeah. I'm all like, am I here for PDA? I mean, yeah, sure. If you want to touch your mind in public, well, well, actually, actually, there's levels to this ish, okay. But like, I'm all here for PDA. But like, the way she's just like constantly like kissing Travis Barker or Baker, or whatever the flippy surname is, every two point five seconds, it's like, girl, like, pipe down. Like, I remember there's one season where she was just all over him like she was just all over him and it just got really uncomfortable and it's not uncomfortable because i can't relate and i'm single it's uncomfortable because i mean maybe there's that aspect too there, there's probably that aspect too but it's uncomfortable because like bro trap you all this for him i'm sure he's a sweetheart he seems like a sweetheart and he seems to really have changed her idea of marriage and love and i love their story i do but it's also really boring to watch <laughs> let's move on real quickly next we have logan paul do i need to explain Like, there's, there's so many things wrong with this man. Like, I don't, I, I, I hated his hairstyle back in 2000 and what was it? 17, 18. I don't flipping know what years. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like the whole mop that was on his head where he kept, like, he just annoys the hell out of me. But for some reason when I was 16 and 17, I again had no life. And I just used to watch content creators that I'd now found cringe and just really like annoy him. And for some reason, Logan Paul was there. Yes. Those are the days that I try to just block out the most. I don't know whether he said the N-word before in his life, but he seems like a type. He looks like the N-word lives at the tip of his tongue. He's from Ohio. There you go. <laughs> I'm not even the most well-versed on states in America because, I mean, I don't even know much about what's going on in the UK, do you know what I mean? I've heard some really techy things about Ohio. Now, let's just say when it comes to racism, mm. His parents look like they beat. Let me stop. Um, hold on a second. My dog wants to leave my room. One second, people. Also, yes, I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah, back to the video. Also, yes, I'm wearing boxer shorts. I don't know what it is, but like I've been living in them recently. But you get it like one size up, so that it's really comfortable and it's not too tight. But then also, when you get it tight, it make, like it shows your ass. <laughs> his parents look really racist, especially his dad. He looks like if he sees a black person. Time to chop. Yeah, Logan Paul just, he doesn't seem like a nice person at all. Like, he's the type of person who looks like they got bullied in high school, they now have popularity, and they don't know how to behave. I've heard so many negative things about him. People who used to be his friends have come out to say some really harsh things, which I actually do believe. I can never look at Logan Paul and not think of the whole suicide Japan forest thing. Um, and I get it, people can change and people can actually do better from their past because I don't think you should always hold people to their past. Well, I guess it depends on what it is they've done, right? But with the whole suicide thing, I just, I, to this day, years later, I just still don't understand. And what made it worse was his dumb ass apology. You don't have to like everyone in this world. And I've actually come to accept that. Like some people may not like me too. And that's okay. Like I'm not for everyone. I hate the way that he speaks about like religion. Like he kind of like shuns people who are religious or who share their testimonies with him. You don't have to believe in anything. It makes a joke out of religion and stuff. I, I don't think he takes it seriously where it's like, for some people, religion is all people know. And that's all people can cling on to. And I think Logan Paul just doesn't quite understand it. Um, I mean, religion again isn't for everyone. It's not about like shoving it down someone's throat. It's mostly just like listening. And I don't think Logan Paul does that. Who is next on this list? You might be asking. Okay, so next on this list, we have Camilla Cabello. Okay, so Camila Cabello and Leah Michelle for me are the same people, just in different fonts. One is in italic, one is in bold. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is about an annoying person getting the bang, aka a fringe. Like, I like a fringe, and best believe a couple weeks ago I was rocking a fringe. You know what I mean? Like, the hair is not the problem here. The problem is these women. I don't like Leah Michelle. I don't like Camila Cab Camila Camila Cabello. She reminds me of that one kid in school who just won't shut up. You can sing. I'm not gonna lie. You can sing. Cause I'm not gonna sit down here and lie. Camila has got some good music. 
haven't streamed her in a long time, but she's got the bops, that's for sure. But like sometimes it sounds like she's straining her voice when she was in Fifth Harmony, especially. Um, I don't know why she would always be lead when it's like, girl, you can sing, but I think there's better vocalists in that band. I went to performing arts college, right? And I remember like every single term, the teacher would be like, okay guys, it's a new term, which means a new project. So who wants to, and she'd be like, me? Like tell me that's not Camilla. Pick me vibes too. Girl, the world does not revolve around you. Whilst you can sing, there's other people in the classroom who can sing too, but then we'll come and ask you like, hey, like Keisha, what's, is there something wrong with me? And it's like, girl, I'm gonna, do you want me to tell you the truth or lie? Because which one can you take? You know, like Camilla just seems like that annoying person that you just don't want to put up with, but like you don't want to be mean and you won't say it to their face, but like you're just really aggravated by them. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, babes. I really don't. All right, next on this list, we have Jason Derulo. I don't know why he's on this list. I don't know what. Is it just me or Jason Derulo gives colorist vibes? Oh, it's just me? Oh, all right, cool. I'm still not sure who the black man was that fell down the Met Gala stairs. <laughs> like, the streets are saying that it's Asha, the streets are saying that it's R. Kelly. R. Kelly wouldn't be there, there's no kids there. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I had to, I had to. It's Jason Derulo, Derulo. Ah, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, he used to slap. And the trumpets swing low, is that lyrics? And the trumpets, they go ba ba no 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 no. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the guy has some bops. He's got some boppy aunts in his catalogue for sure, but there's something off about him. I just feel like he is like, try, like, is it just me who gives like try too hard vibes? Like, he thinks that like, he's a pretty boy. He's definitely not ugly though. I feel like he would never want to be seen next to a dark skinned woman. And I'm not just saying that based on like his previous relationships and them all being light skinned women. Like, you do you, please. If you have a type, babes, you have a type in peace. Yeah? I feel like he's had person who just doesn't want anything to do with dark-skinned women. And when I mean dark skin, I mean dark. But you know what, Jason, you're missing out, so... Au revoir. And also, he probably isn't a colorist. <laughs> do you see what I mean? Can we actually deep how problematic this video is? Because these people could actually just... I need help. I need Jesus. I need deliverance. I need therapy. <laughs> Next on this list, we have Gwyneth Paltrow. The name Gwyneth Paltrow sounds so iconic, right? She just seems so out of touch. She seems like the type of person where like, she would have a kid, the kid is like, it's time for the kid to go to college. She has a choice for where she wants her kid to go. The kid for some reason doesn't end up being accepted. Does she not seem like the type of person to like call up the administration people and be like, hey, <laughs> so I'm Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, you know, I can tell you about myself, but you can also just Google it, you know? Um, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna send you a check and my child is gonna go ahead and enroll. Does, does that sound correct to you? Like, does that not sound like Gwyneth Paltrow to me? Wait, to you. I don't think I'm wrong about this one. I've seen a few things here and there that kind of convey that. Um, so I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think it's too far of a reach by saying that, but she just seems like the type of person who is very entitled. And that's the last thing I could personally put up with from a human being. Let's talk about the talk show host, James Corden. If you find him funny, please leave the channel now. If you've ever found James Corden funny, please exit from the channel. Um, I'll see you in the next video. James Corden funny in one sentence is madness to me. Shout out to him though for making the big move of going from the UK to the US. I guess he realized that people just weren't really vibing with him in the UK. I feel like he was always put there as a prop. I just feel like he's fake nice and people seem like adorable and cute and so like, oh my God, he's got a British, he's got a British accent. And it's like, okay. So we give out titles too quickly. Like we give out the title of model too quickly. It's like, bro, what have they done apart from like post the picture on Instagram? That doesn't make you a model in my opinion, but hey, I guess times are changing. I need to keep up. Stop calling everyone a comedian. If you do, if you can't make me laugh, I don't think you're a comedian. I, I don't think I'm a tough crowd to please, you know? I, Cause I usually find most things funny, but James Corden just isn't one of them. Shout out to him though for the whole carpool karaoke and getting celebrities there. Like, I don't know whether it's his original idea. If it's not, then this is awkward. Next we have Jimmy, um, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon scares the, he the hell out of me. The bleep out of me. Jimmy Fallon might be one of the scariest human beings I've ever seen. Like, I need a minute. Like, I need a minute. No. Jimmy Fallon is scary. He looks like Miranda Crossgrove, or is it Cosgrove? Bitch, you know what I'm talking about, iCarly. That awkward laugh that he does every 2.5 seconds, bitch. Go away. Like, that's scary to me. <laughs> What's funny? What's funny? And I get it, there's awkward people out there. But you've been doing this for X amount of years now. You, your decade is in. I think you're good, innit? I think you, you can... Con like, <laughs> no, excuse me. If he has a disability or illness or something that I, that I, I didn't know, innit? Like, I'm sorry. If he doesn't, then babes, you need to check that out. Like, what's going on? <laughs> but no one made a joke. <laughs> 
he looks like the type of person that would probably like corner me in an alleyway where there's no cameras and I don't know, do God knows what. I think that he got exposed for the work environment on set not being a great place and people, why, what happened to the good people in the world? Like I haven't completely lost faith in humanity, but I'm kind of at that point where, you know what? I might as well just lose faith in humanity because everyone's a flipping prick. Why? Why do you have to be famous and so mean? If it wasn't for the cameraman or the lighting guy or the engineer, then the show would not be running. Why do you th like? Why do people think they're above everyone else? And also, these talk show hosts that don't like making eye contact with you. Who the flip do you think you are? You're not God. God wouldn't even do that. Do you know what I mean? Like that is the worst thing a human being could do. Say, I oh, don't make eye contact with me. Like allegedly, Ellen does that. I don't want to look at you anyways. Like, bitch, I'm just here to promote music. Like, can I sing already? Do you know what I mean? Like, who the flip are you? Ellen is up there as well. Because, excuse me, during lockdown, yeah, when everyone was bored in the house and in the house bored, you don't think we wanted to go back to work? Well, not me, but the people, my mom, dad. Obviously, I was more privileged in that sense where I could work from home, which I'm very grateful for to this day. But, like, you don't think people wanted to go back to work? <laughs> Sorry. Um, you don't think that people miss hanging out with their friends and just leaving the house. You lit your, your back garden is probably the size of Tate Modern. Like, you're good. Now listen, rich people have their own struggles. I'm not gonna sit on here and pretend they don't because they most definitely do. But also, babes, I, I think you can firm it. You can firm it for a bit longer. I think during lockdown, we saw a different side to celebrities where they were like, we saw the privileged people just doing the most. It was like, bro, like, you know, real talk, you can actually like take a private jet and fly out and no one would really care the way they would care for like a regular regular human being who wanted to fly out and travel, but we couldn't. Like looking at Ellen now, she looks a mess. It's funny because I used to watch her. Do 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 it downtown. Somebody please stack the clock. Whoa, whoa. I remember when I was like 15, 16. Before school, I'd watch The Ellen Show. It would come pretty early in the morning. I'd watch that whilst getting ready. Not that I had to really get ready and do much because all it was was showering, creaming your skin and put your blazer on and your uniform and then you're out you know so i had time to watch ellen's what i'm trying to say and i used to find the show so good like i used to want to be in the audience because i could win fifty thousand. i could win a car even though i don't have a driver license like i could genuinely win stuff i could win tickets to go and see my flipping favorite artist isn't it like i genuinely loved ellen at one point i thought that she was like the auntie that everyone deserved <laughs> but then as time went on i realized that she's actually just so annoying and she's not it's not what it seems. It was a very entertaining talk show, that's for sure. But then she started booking the same people over and over again and like kind of interrogating some of them with her questions and, you know, I don't know, like as a viewer, it got really weird real quickly. Next we have DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled, what the flip is wrong with you? Like, I know people keep saying like, what does he do? Babes, it's in the name, he's a DJ. Like he literally produces and all of that good stuff in it. DJ Khaled, like that used to hit. That ad lib used to go crazy, babes. And now it's just like, shut up. Why are you on stage? I remember I was watching this, is it AMA or VMA a couple years ago? It's one of the MAs, innit? And I remember Nicki Minaj was performing with August Alcina and Jeremiah, I think. And you know, I thought, okay, maybe like, okay, Nikki, Nikki's first up in the song, right? Like, I can't wait, let's get into it. Why was he doing the backing for her, rapping? When I see DJ Khaled, I see gray hair. If you guys, <laughs> lockdown was a very crazy time. Do you remember during lockdown when he had like all the gray hair and everything? He looked different, basically. He didn't have the black hair, the jet black, which he, is his usual style. Um, but I guess he couldn't get his hair, he couldn't get his hands on hair dye. I know people keep making jokes about how like he's been trying to lose weight for decades now. What, a decade? Ah, uh, has he? He has, hasn't he? I remember I used to follow him on Snapchat when Snapchat was actually good, like back in 2016. Yeah, next we have um, James Franco. James Franco just, what, like, what happened? I remember when I was younger, I used to have a crush on James Franco. But then me right now, 23 years old, and when I see a James Franco photo, he looks like he smells. Like he looks like he smells of last night, cigarettes. You know when the, okay, I know this is really specific, but like, just hear me out. You know it's raining outside, right? And then you're on the bus and like you don't want to sit in the corner because it just it feels damp. Is it just me? He looks like he smells damp. And he looks like the type of person to be like, guys, I didn't shower last night, but it's okay, it's okay. Like he looks like the type of person to make not showering a personality trait. Like he just looks like he smells. He probably doesn't though. He probably smells of like Sauvage Dior or something. I don't know what else men use. Especially what fragrance do men use? Hugo Boss? 
Imagine they made a Lynx Africa fragrance. I mean, they do. They do. I'm not saying that you should be dripped in design or anything. Like, you can wear, like, no branded clothes. That's not the problem here. The problem is, you're not really putting in the effort. Jenny, look 10 years older than your actual age, babes. Like, it's just not even funny anymore. Like, he looks like his breath smells of coffee. He just looks like he doesn't care. And like, I think you should care. <laughs> Anyways, next on this list we have Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts just seems stuck up to me. Is she not also the same person who literally abused her boyfriend? Evan Peters? I, I think she is. Um, that wasn't spoken about nearly enough, but hey ho, <laughs> let's go. She just seems mean. And privileged. And that's what I'm gonna say. Next we have Amy Schumer. Let's get into it. The fact that she was allegedly gonna play Barbie, yeah, no. I see what they're trying to do. But I'm happy they didn't go in that direction. Speed of direction. Why do One Direction keep lying to me? Why do One Direction keep saying that they're going to come back when you're not going to come back? Stop lying. And why is it always Liam Payne saying it? <laughs> I think we know why. I'm happy they didn't go in that direction because I'm happy with Margot Robbie. And I'm happy with what... What? Do you know what I mean? Speaking of Barbie, I never watched it when the hype was hyping. Like when everyone was going to cinema wearing pink. I just wasn't there, innit? Like, I love that though. But I just wasn't there. So I actually watched it for the first time last week. And yeah pretty good movie nothing crazy though but i watch it again yeah but i don't think it was anything like too crazy or groundbreaking but i love the message of the movie amy shimmer was allegedly meant to play bobby and i'm happy that she didn't play bobby because excuse me i don't want to see you on my screen i can't even do 10 seconds no she tries too hard she's not funny she seems like the type of person to say the n-word and be like oh, oh it just slipped out it's a joke guys i'm a comedian remember she seems like the type of person that would date a black guy oh let me not finish that sentence that's savage let me not finish that <laughs> Like, I, I know I'm savage, but I can't even finish that sentence, babes. I, I, I can't. I don't have it in me. I don't think I've ever seen, like, a stand-up of hers where I was like, oh, my God, like, she's literally, like, killing it. No. I want to die. I want to be killed in that moment. Sorry, I know that turned dark. Next to PewDiePie. I'm sorry, but I get the rap that he's racist. Like, I'm I'm literally sorry. He's like a spy, like, working for, like, the... Ooh. PewDiePie gives me some weird-ass energy. Like, he looks like he would cuss me in the flip out say the n-words and everything every single slur that's out there i know he has like so much subscribers and they're probably gonna find this video and be like oh my god i'm gonna troll you i'm gonna dox you and find out where you live girl chill out next we have j-lo jennifer lopez this just seems mean personally during the super bowl she didn't want to share the stage with shakira first and foremost if it wasn't for shakira i would not be watching let's start there um now i'm not gonna lie she has bangers um get on the floor na, 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 da, 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 ah she killed it she killed it <laughs> god take me back when life was simpler i didn't have to worry about nothing okay nothing in this life i had to worry about she used to steal songs for black women in the early 2000s so you know that was one of the reasons why i don't like her also her coming across as quite entitled why don't you want to share the stage with shakira i mean you thought you could do the whole performance yourself no one wants to see a j-lo like no one does i don't know a single person who's like oh my god i love jayla she's my favorite musician she's my favorite singer i think in jayla's mind she thinks she's a whitney houston like i think that she thinks she's a big vocal house powerhouse i was like girl I, i've never gotten that from you you look amazing though you look so good though like she has abs on abs on abs on abs she probably has abs in places i didn't know human beings can have abs she's very fit and i look at jayla i'm like you know what i want to look like this in my 50s i want to be strong and fit and sexy like this in my 50s okay but when it comes to the music girl there was a documentary of hers and she went back to home she went back home to her childhood wait what she went back to her childhood home right and there's this guy probably in his 80s living there and she was like you know jennifer lopez used to live there and he was like who no fair enough the guy is in his 80s Maybe he's not. Maybe he's in his 60s. <laughs> Next on this list, we have um, Rita Ora. She's not mixed race? Light skin? She's not black? I remember when I found out that Rita Ora is not black. She's, in fact, Albanian. She's from Kosovo, right? And um, she admitted on a Breakfast Club interview that she just likes to tan. And blackfish. Um, admitting that is crazy. I can't get behind proposing to a man. I just don't think a human being should have i don't think any woman should have that in them you know um proposing to a man is crazy and you know i'm all here for like women taking on the leads of x y and z sometimes it, you know I, I think it's cool i'm, I'm, not, I'm not too old-fashioned i'm not i'm not so far gone like i'm not too old-fashioned or like too traditional trust me okay but one thing i will never do is me keisha get down on one knee and propose and pull out a ring and be like, will you marry me? It's not happening, babes. It's not. I would feel like, you know what? It come, It looks desperate. Now, I, I'm happy if she's happy. 
But like, why couldn't he propose to her? Maybe he wasn't ready. Stand up. Stand up. I'm not really a fan of Rita Ora like that, mate. I used to like her music when I was younger. Kind of. Okay, so next we have Rice Gum. I, I just, it just annoys me. That's literally it. Now, I actually asked you guys over on my community tab on YouTube. So make sure you guys head over there because every week we have like questionnaires, uh, ways you guys can get involved in the videos too. So I asked you guys like, who are some celebrities that are just annoy you for no reason? And a lot of you guys came through. Over 500 people submitted. People said Drake. Okay, there's quite a lot of Drakes here. Someone said um, Ariana Grande. Wow, there's a lot of Ariana Grandes mentioned. Wow. Someone said Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. God, I'm about to embarrass myself. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Affleck. Anyways, him. Harry Styles. A lot of people were saying Olivia Rodrigo. Now, for me personally, I think that she's probably a sweetheart, but I just I haven't taken to her the way a lot of people have taken to Olivia Rodrigo. Like, I just... Doesn't, it doesn't quite hit for me. Someone said Jared Leto. Someone said Harry Styles again. Someone said he's so bland, yet popular somehow. Oh my God. Someone said Shawn Mendes, Leonardo DiCaprio. Someone said Taylor Swift. There was plenty more people that was mentioned as well. You can go ahead and check out that post if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's been super duper fun. I like my videos to feel like we're on FaceTime, even though we're not on FaceTime, because you guys don't have my number. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, make sure you guys go follow me over on my Instagram. It will be on the screen for you guys right now. It's Keisha underscore. If you guys have video suggestions, and that is the best place to find me. Um, I'm going to be like posting so much on Instagram. Like I have so many like ideas of concepts and stuff you know um but i also just like chatting to you guys on instagram because it's a fun time babes it's a really fun time over on instagram a lot of you guys can trust me with your lives which is really 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 crazy because i don't know whether I, like i can trust myself but hey follow me over my instagram it's keisha underscore it literally takes you what less than 10 seconds and costs you nothing especially in this day and age of things being pricey like babes it's free do you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah guys i'm gonna go i'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video <laughs> bye